welcome back to the Cave of Wonders Dreamwalkers. I am your Sith Lord Callus for Lord Callus TV. And this is another Callus comic review. So if you're new here to the channel, I need you to subscribe and hit that like button. Then turn on notifications so you can join the Sith Clan of Dreamwalkers on our journey. Today we are going to recap and review Star Wars Darth Vader issue number 5, The Dark Heart of the Sith, written by Greg Pak. Raphael Iancu is the artist and Niraj Menon is the colorist. In Yuk Lee is the cover artist. Now let's jump into the story. We are back on Naboo with Darth Vader in the tomb of Padme Amidala. He is still looking for answers regarding Padme's death and will stop at nothing to find them. Sabe still believes that it was Vader who was responsible for her death and is looking for any opportunity to kill him. Vader reaches into the Force and connects with his fonder memories of Padme when she was alive, but those thoughts quickly darken and he remembers the last time he actually saw her alive. Rather than desecrate Padme's tomb, Vader's forensic droid scans her remains and is able to locate a med implant, which is stamped and traceable. They locate her last known coordinates and then proceed to take their leave, but close by Sabe also sees the coordinates and hopes to reach the destination before Vader. As she contacts the rest of the Amidalans, Vader's death trooper takes aim to eliminate her but Vader prevents him from taking the shot. Instead, he invites Padme, not Padme, but Sabe, to collect all of her friends and to meet him at the final destination. Vader and his droid make their way to Palace Massa, where we see Padme give birth to Luke and Leia in the Revenge of the Sith. Now the med center is deserted, but they head into the starport control where they find the computer systems fully operational. Vader's droid is able to recover the data files as he searches through the last known arrivals and departures during that time period. And they locate Padme's ship, piloted by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Padme was still alive upon their arrival to the station. The thought of Kenobi sparks another flashback for Vader, where he is taken back to their confrontation on Mustafar. Then suddenly a fleet of fighters arrive to disrupt their search, the Amidalans. Vader's death troopers begin to fire on the fleet using the station's satellite defenses, and Vader actually deflects a few of the fighters' laser blasts with his lightsaber. Yes, with his lightsaber. The attackers land and begin a ground assault. Vader envelops himself in the darkness, and he continues to remember his confrontation with Kenobi on Mustafar. His rage toward Padme and the loss of the final battle with his master. Vader and his death troopers annihilate their opponents and bring an end to the Amidalans. Back inside, Vader instructs his droid to recover more records, but there is nothing more to recover until the droid comes across the midwife droid that delivered Luke and Leia. It's still functioning, though badly damaged. They are able to get it to play some of the images stored in her memory banks, and Vader is finally able to see Padme on the birthing bed, where she is still alive. Vader is unable to contain his rage as the droid mentions Kenobi's name for the last time, and he destroys him as his death troopers look on. The Dark Lord recognizes just how far he's fallen since first meeting the love of his life and he returns to Coruscant to face his master. Darth Sidious is less than pleased with Vader, recognizing his weakness and despair. He chastises his apprentice with maddening delight, and that is where this story ends. The Dark Heart of the Sith continues to give us more insight into Vader's mindset between The Empire Strikes Back and The Return of the Jedi. I like seeing this more introspective Vader, and it's pretty cool to see him bounce back and forth emotionally, both tempering and then fueling his rage. 
I like that they touched on the jealousy he was feeling toward Obi-Wan during the events of Revenge of the Sith. The novelization did a great job to show how well Sidious was manipulating Anakin's feelings toward Kenobi through his relationship with Padme. We didn't really get to see that in the actual film, so I like that they touch on it again here. In the end though, Sidious will always be the master manipulator. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, subscribe and join the Dreamwalker Sith clan on our journey. And don't forget to check out my lore and legend series where I dive into Star Wars stories from the past. Listen, I do what I love. I hope you love what I do. This has been a Callus comic review. Until next time.